pieces that I've written this far. So. Why are you yelling at me, officer? Spewing your hate in the air, begging for me to retaliate so that when people say this is unfair, you have a reason to justify it. Why are you calling for backup, officer? It's just me. Why can't I be free? Why are you treating me like a wild animal, like, like I'm an endangered species that must be captured immediately as if I am the one with a baton, a taser, a gun, as, I, as if I am the one with a gun to your head waiting for the second you move a finger? or resist, as you say, so that I can pull the trigger and take another innocent life away. Why are you beating me down, officers? I have a daughter at home, a mother who calls my phone whenever she needs me. I am all they have. Did you ever stop and think about that? That maybe I am all someone may have that without me, the downward spiral continues because you question why our children are parentless. But did you ever stop to think that maybe you are the reason? Please don't shoot me down. It was just a broken tail light. You see, I don't want to fight. Please, I beg you, please don't give my people another reason to cry, another reason to question if our lives really matter, another reason to clench our fists so hard on the steering wheel when you drive by that we bleed out before you can make us because you see, when you are around, we fear for our lives, our lives, our black lives can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Our throats are closing in. We are losing oxygen. We are making pleas on our knees, begging you to stop killing us. I'm tired. We're all tired because it seems like no matter how hard we try, we are still never good enough in your eyes because we have tried wearing our crowns, holding our heads high, praying to the sky, hoping one day you see us, but all you seem to see is black hair, black skin, black, 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 as if that's all we'll ever be and nothing more as if you have the upper hand because your body stands white and your textbooks show you the power that you have had on us through all these years, but did your textbooks show you the pain you have caused? Did your textbooks tell you the tears you've caused? And how we hurt because of you? And how we hurt because of you? Because you have trapped us in this cage and refused to let us out. So of course we are crying out because we are angry. You see, we can't remain calm when you treat us like animals. We can't remain calm when our lives could be ended as easily as it was made. We can't remain calm when you can't even remain calm when we're around. We can't remain calm because you want us gone. When you go through loops and hoops to make sure that happens. You get joy out of killing our fathers, our friends, our mothers, our 12-year-old sons, our 12-year-old sons, our 12-year-old sons, and you think it's fun, so no. We are done. I am done remaining calm because you see, when I, when I, when I see a police officer, I fear for my life. My body clenches up from my toes to my throat, and I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. I can't breathe when I see another one of my brothers and sisters slaughtered. I can't breathe when I know that I could be next. I can't breathe because the tears that I shed for the dead blind my vision. I can't breathe because you don't care. So 
So, you don't have to shoot me dead. Because you've already shot the last bit of hope inside of me instead. So I'll say here. Please don't shoot me down. Uh-huh.